journeyed from the wilderness of sin according to the commandment of the Lord and camped in Rephidim. But there, the, but there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people content, contented with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water. And the people complained against Moses and said, Why is it that you have brought us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord, saying, What shall I do with, the, what shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel. Also take in your hand your rod with you, which you struck the river, and go. Behold, I will send before you there on the rock in Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water will come out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. So he called the name of the, of the place Massa and Meribah, because of the contention of the children of Israel and because they tempted the Lord saying is the Lord among us or not Glory be to the also from the book of Proverbs of Solomon the prophet may his blessings with us all amen trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and, and with the first fruits of all your in increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will, be, will overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects. Just as the father, the son in whom he delights. Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than find gold. Glory be to the Holy Spirit, to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. From Hosea the prophet, may his blessings be all the solemn When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to King Jerob. Yet he cannot kill you, nor heal you of your wound. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim, and like a, a young lion to the house of Judah. I even, I will tear them and go away. I will take them away, and no one shall rescue. I will return again to my place, till they acknowledge their offense. Then they will seek my face. In their affliction they will diligently seek me. Come and let us return to the Lord, for he has torn but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up, that we may live in his sight. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and the former rain to the earth. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also from Jesus, son of Sirach, the prophet, may his blessing be with us all, amen. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. She is created, she is created with the faithful in the womb. He saw her and, app and apportioned her. He rained down knowledge and he rained down knowledge and discerning comprehension. And, and he exalted the glory of those who held her fast. Unrighteous anger cannot be justified, for man's anger tips the scale to his ruin. A patient man will endure until the right moment. He will hide his words until the right moment, and the lips of many will tell of his good sense. In the treasures of wisdom are wise sayings, but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. If you desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Lord will supply it for you. Do not disobey and fear the Lord. Do not approach him with divided mind, with a divided mind, and keep watch over the Lord. Do not approach and keep watch over your lips. Do not exalt yourself lest you fall, and thus bring dishonor upon yourself. The Lord will reveal your secrets, my son. If you come forward to, the, to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation, for gold is tested with fire and acceptable men in the furnace of humiliation. Trust him, and he will help you. Make your way straight and hope in him. You who fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. 
and turn not aside lest you fall. Consider the eight generations and see. Whoever trusted in the Lord and was put to shame, or whoever persevered in the fear of the Lord and was forsaken, or whoever called upon him and was overlooked, were to timid, to timid hearts and slack minds, and to the sinner who walks along two ways, where to you have lost endurance, what will you do to the Lord when the Lord punishes you? Those who fear the Lord will not disobey his words, and those who love him will keep his ways. O son, help your father in his old age. May son pre perform your tasks in meekness, for the hasty judgment has led many astray, and wrong opinion has caused their thoughts to slip, and whoever loves anger will perish by it. A stubborn mind will be burdened by troubles, and the sinner will heap in sin upon sin. The affliction of the proud has no healing, for the plant of wickedness has taken root in him. The mind of the intelligent man will ponder a parable, and an attentive ear is the wise man's desire. Water extinguishes a blazing fire, so arms give atones for sin. Humbly of our Father, Saint Shnuda Achman Dreit, may his blessings be with all. Amen. I say this statement and stick to it. Do not imagine that after the separation of the straw from the wheat or the sinners from the good people, that the sinners will find comfort. And this is in accordance with the witness of the holy books. As for the angels and archangels, as well as the saints, they will all keep silent and the judgment of God will be final when he separates the good from the bad and throws the sinners into hell. Does God need any? Consult, or whom should he ask? What God forget to not need someone to answer him? Or what would God forget to not need someone to answer him or inquire of him about anything except this statement which is uttered by all of us? As with one, as with one mouth, O oh, the judge of right, all your judgments are fair. You are the one who gives everyone according to his deeds. And it is not for us to remind you of this because you are merciful. Let us conclude the homily of our Holy Father, Saint Shunuda the Archman Dreit, who has enlightened our minds and the eyes of our hearts. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Choice nine and choice nine and the praise of the first hour from the Wednesday of the Holy Pascha. May its holy blessing be with us all. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Talk that he gone and be on and be on and be on my shine. Amen. Emmanuel ben Noti ben Oro. Talk that he gone and be on and be on and be on my shine. Amen. Bashoi sees us be Christos. Basotir and Agathos, Thok, Tati Gom, and be on and Besmon and be on my shine, Amin. Thok, Tati Gom, then be on and Besmon and be on my shine, Amin. Emmanuel, Benoti, Benoro, Thok, Tati Gom, then be on and Besmon and be on my Namin Pashoi sees us, Pechristos, Pasotir and Agathos, Dog Tetigo, Nempio, Nempismon, Nempia, my shy Namin, Dog Tetigo, Nempio, Nempismon, and be a my shy Namin, Emmanuel, Benoti, Benoro, Dog Tetigo. Nen be on and be on and be on my shine, Amin Bashoi see 
Jesus be Christus, besotir in Agathos, tog tetigum, nen bion, nen besmon, nen biamai, shine, amin. Tog tetigum, nen bion, nen besmon, nen biamai, shine, amin. Emmanuel, penoti, penoro, tog tetigum, nen bion, nen besmon, nen biamai, Nemin pashoisi sos be Christos, pesotir in agathos, tog tetigum, nem vio, nem pesmo, nem via marchai, nemin. Tog tetigum, nem vio, nem pesmo, nem via marchai, nemin. Emmanuel, benoti, benoro, tog tetigum, nem vio, Nem besmon en via mai shai nem in beshoi si sos via Christ besotir na gathos tog tetigum nem bio nem besmon en via mai shai nem in tog tetigum nem bio nem besmon en via mai shai nem in Emmanuel penoti penoro. Tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma shai nem in pashoi si sos be Christos pesotir en agathos tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma shai nem in tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma shai nem in Emmanuel ben noti ben oro tog tetigum Nen bio, nen besmo, nen bia mai shai nem in beshoi si sos be Christos besotir na gathos tog tetigum nen bio, nen besmo, nen bia mai shai nem in tog tetigum nen bio, nen besmo, nen bia mai shai nem in Emmanuel ben noti ben oro. Tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma nem in pashoi si sos be Christos pesotir na gathos tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma shai nem in tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma shai nem in Emmanuel ben noti ben oro tog tetigum. Nem bio, nem besmo, nem bia mai shai nem in beshoi si sos be Christos besotir in agathos tog tetigum nem bio, nem besmo, nem bia mai shai nem in tog tetigum nem bio, nem besmo, nem bia mai shai nem in Emmanuel ben noti ben oro. Tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma shai nem in pashoi si sos be Christos tog pesotir in agatho tog tetigum nem bio nem besmo nem bia ma shai nem in tog tetigum nem
Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for
the council of the nations to nothing. Catexiosin imersis acrosios agio fangelio, Kirion ketantion emon, e que te somenso feotico somento agio. And King, may his blessing be with us all. Amen. That ye may be found just when ye speak and blameless when you judge. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing, He makes the plans of the people of no effect. Alleluia. O Lord, have pity and mercy on us and make us worthy to listen to your Holy Gospel. A chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the evangelist, apostle and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. But some of them went away to the Pharisees and told them the things Jesus did. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered their council and said, What shall we do? For this man works many signs. If we let him alone like this, everyone will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away both our place and nation. And one of them, Caiaphas, being high priest that ye said to them, You know nothing at all, nor do you consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die. 
for the people and not that the whole nation should perish. Now this he did not say in his own authority, but being high priest that he prophesied that Jesus would die for the nation and not for the nation only, but also that he would gather together in one the children of God who were scattered abroad. Then from that day on they plotted to put him to death. Therefore Jesus no longer walked openly among the Jews, but went from there into the country near the wilderness, to a city called Ephraim, and there remained with his disciples. And the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went from the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. Then they saw Jesus and spoke among themselves as they stood in the temple. What do you think that he will not come to the feast? Now both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given a command that if anyone knew where he was, he should report it, that they might seize him. Glory be to God forever. The prophecy of the third hour of Wednesday of the Holy Pascha, may its blessings be us all. Amen. Then it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go that God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up in orderly ranks out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him. For he had placed the children of Israel under solemn oath, saying, God will surely visit you and you shall carry up my bones from here with you. So they took their, they took their journey from Succoth, the camp in Etham, at the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so as to go by day and night. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day, nor the, nor or the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Son. From Jesus, son of Sirach, the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. He who teaches a fool is like one who glues hot shirts together, or who rouses a sleeper from deep slumber. He who tells a story to a fool tells it to a drowsy man, and at the end he will say, what is it? Weep for the dead, for the lacks of, of the light, and weep for the fools, for he lacks intelligence. Weep less bitterly for the dead. For he has attained rest, but the life of the fool is worse than death. Mourning for the death lasts seven days, but for a fool or an ungodly man, it lasts all his life. Do not talk much with a foolish man, and do not visit an unintelligent man. Guard yourself from him to escape trouble, and you will not be soiled when he shakes himself off. Avoid him, and you will find rest, and you will never be weared by his madness. What is heavier than lead? And what is the name except fool? What is its name except fool? Sand, salt, and piece of iron are easier to bear than a strip of men. A wooden beam firmly bonded into a building will not be torn loose by, by an earthquake. So the mind firmly fixed on a reasonable counsel will not be afraid in a crisis. A mind settled on an intelligent thought <coughs> is like the stuck, stuck with the creation on, a, on the wall of a colonnade. Fences set on a high place will not stand firm against the wind. So a timid heart with a fool's purpose will not stand firm against my feet. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All 
also from Job the Prophet, may his blessing be us all, amen. Though he heaps up silver like dust and piles up clothing like clay, he may pile it up, but the just will wear it, and the innocent will divide the silver. He builds his house like a moth, like a booth which, which, a, which a watchman makes. The rich man will lie down but not be gathered up. He opens his eyes and he is no more. Terrors overtake him like a flood. A tempest steals him away in the night. The east wind carries him away and he is gone. It sweeps him out of his place. It hurls against him and does not spare. He flees desperately from its power. Men shall clamp their, head, their hands at him and shall hiss him out of his place. Surely there is a mine for, for silver and a place where gold is refined. Glory to God. Also from the book of Proverbs of Solomon, the prophet made blessing with us all, I mean. He also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live, get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget, nor turn away from the words of my mouth, do not forsake her and she will preserve you, love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom and in your, and in your getting get understanding, exalt her and she will promote you, she will bring you honour when you embrace her. She will place your head in ornament of grace and crown your glory and crown and crown of glory when she delivers when she delivered to you. Hear my son and receives and re and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be of many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in the right paths. When you walk your steps will not be hindered. And when you run you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let her, do not let go, keep her, for she is your life. Do not enter a path of the wicked, and do not walk in the ways of evil. Avoid it, do not travel on it, turn away from it, and pass on. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, but the path of the just is, is like the shining sun that shines even brighter unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked. The wicked is, the, is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not, let, your, do not th let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they, are the, for they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of the spring of the issues of life, put away from you a deceitful mouth, and perverse lips far away from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or left. Remove your foot from evil. My son pays attention to, the wis to my wisdom. Lend your ear to my understanding that you may preserve discretion and your lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a moral woman drip honey and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Glory to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, Lord. Pshuisna Nen, Pshuisna Nen, the prayers of the third hour of Wednesday of the Holy Mascha. May his blessings be us all. Amen. Kriele song, thok teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi amai shine mi nen beno il beno ti beno ro thok teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi amai shine mi basho isi sos bi Christos basho ti re na gathos thok teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi my shine, Amen. Talk to the God, and be on, and be small, and be on. My shine, Amen. Emmanuel, be not even or talk to the God, and be on, and be small, and be on. My shine, Amen. Be sure to see us, be Christ to us, be so dear and agathos. Talk to the God. Nempi o nempi zmo nempi ama shai nemi thok teti gom nempi o nempi zmo nempi ama shai nemi nemano il benoti benoro thok teti gom 
us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil through Jesus Christ our Lord for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Uh... 
Evangelion is a web carta. Look and argue. to itself when he goes out he tells it blessed is he who considers the poor the Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble 
Apostle and pure disciple, may his blessing be us all. Amen. Now the feast of the unleavened bread drew near, which is called Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered Judas, surnamed Iscariot, who was numbered among the twelve. So he went his way and conferred with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him to and agreed to give him money, so he promised and sought opportunity to betray him and to them in the absence of the multitude. Glory be to God for Prophecies of Wednesday of the Holy Pascha, may its holy blessing be with us all. Amen. From the book of Exodus of Moses the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, but lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I indeed will harden the hearts of the Egyptians and they shall follow them. So I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army, his chariots and his horsemen. Then the Egyptians sh shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gained honor for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots, and his horsemen. And the angel of God who went before the camp of Israel moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud went from before them and stood behind them. So it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. Thus it was a cloud and darkness to, to the one, and it gave light by night to the other, so that one did not come near the other all that night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. So the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on the dry ground, and the waters were, were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. Now it came to pass in the morning, watch, that the Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud, and he troubled the army of the Egyptians. And he took, he took off their chariots' wheels so that they drove them with, with difficulty. And the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the seas, that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians on their chariots and on their horsemen. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and when the morning appeared, the sea returned to its full depth, while the Egyptians were fleeing into it. So the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Then the waters returned and covered the chariots, the horsemen, and all the army of Pharaoh that came into, that came into the sea after them. <coughs> Not so much as one of them remained, but the children of Israel had walked on dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. So the Lord saved Israel that day of the hand of the Egyptians, 
and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Thus Israel saw a great work which the Lord had done in Egypt. So people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. From Isaiah the prophet, may his blessings be of us all. Amen. Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name of Israel, and have come forth from the wellsprings of Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth or in righteousness. For they call themselves after the holy city and lean on the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning. They went forth from my mouth, and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly I did them, and they came to pass, because I knew that you were obstinate and your neck was an iron sinew and your brow bronze. Even from the beginning I have declared it to you. Before it came to pass, I proclaimed it to you, lest you should say, my idol has done them and my carved image and my molded image. Have commanded them, you have heard, see all this. And will you not declare it? I have made you hear new things from this time, even hidden things, and you did not know them. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son. Also from Jesus, son of Sirach, the prophet, may his blessings be us all. Amen. Listen, my children, to instruction concerning speech. The one who observes it will never be caught. The sin is overtaken through his lips. The reviler and the arrogant are tripped by them. Do not accustom your mouth to oath, and do not habitually utter the name of the Holy One. For as a servant who is continually examined under torture will not lack bruises, so also the man who always swears and utters the name will not be cleansed from sin. A man who swears many oaths will be filled with iniquity, and the scourge will not leave his house. If he offends, his sin remains on him, and if he disregards it, he sin, he sin double, he sin doubly. If he, was, if he has sworn needlessly, he will, not, he will not be justified, for his house will be filled with calamities. There is an utterance which is com comparable to death, and may it never be found in the inheritance of Jacob. For all these errors will be far from the godly, and they will not, they will not wallow in sins. Do not accustom your mouth to lewd vulgarity, for it involves sinful speech. Remember your father and your mother when you sit among great men, lest you be forgetful in their presence and be deemed a fool on account of your habits. Then you will wish that you had never been born and you will curse the day of your birth. Glory be to you and to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is something now, there is something called memor, Job memor. Memor means a summary of the story. It's a summary of the story of the life of Job and what happened with him. So we should read it now, but yeah, we will not read it, but... Uh, uh, why we do we read it? Uh, we read it uh, even today. We call it Job Wednesday. Job Wednesday. Why? Because the the, the temptation which happened to Job was a result of uh, the envy of the devil towards him. The, the, the devil hated that Job is a faithful person, and he was uh, trying to to bring bad things to him. Uh, and and the temptation which happened to the Lord Jesus. It's because of the envy of the devil towards all of us, all the mankind. So the Lord Jesus came to carry our sins, which we committed as a result of the envy of the devil. The temptation of Job was ended by great blessing. Everything he lost, he returned it back. And also, the that what happened with the Lord Jesus? He died on the cross, yes. As, as a result of what's happening and what we're reading today. But at the end, he rose from dead on the third day. So it was turning the, the sadness to the joy and the real joy. So that's why we call today Job Wednesday, because we read this uh, memoir in the sixth hour after the prophecies. The praise of the sixth hour from Job Wednesday, may its blessing be with us all. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Mercy as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespasses. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.
worthy to pray thankfully our Father who art in heaven hallowed Hallowed be thy thy name thy thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil through Jesus Christ our Lord for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for
Uh... 
Keber to Kataxi of Thinimas, Tis across to Agur Fangelion, Kerion, Keton Theonemon, Egatim Somen Sophia, Thea Cosomen, to Agio Epa Ange. Blessings be with us all, Amen. For behold, your enemies make a tumult, and those who hate you have lifted up their head. For they have consulted together with one consent. They form a confederacy against you, Alleluia. pity and mercy on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel, a chapter from the holy gospel. According to St. John, the evangelist and pure disciple, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Then six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, who had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil, oh, spike not anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, said, why was this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and, the ma and had the money box, and he used to take what was put in it, but Jesus said, Let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always. But me you do not have always. Glory be to God. The prophecies of the sixth hour of Wednesday of the Holy Pascha. May its blessings of all Amen. From the book of Genesis of the Moses the prophet, may his blessings be with us all Amen. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. So Abraham said to the oldest servant of his house, who ruled over all that he had, Please put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not take a wife from, for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell, but you shall go to my country and to my family and take a wife for my son Isaac. And the servant said to him, Perhaps the woman will not be willing to follow me to this land. Must I take your son to the land from which you came? But Abraham said to him, Beware that you do not take my son back there. The Lord God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the land of my family, 
and who spoke to me and swore to me, saying, To your descendants I give this land. He will send his angel before you, and you will take a wife, and you shall take a wife for my son from there. And if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will, then you will be released from this oath. Only do not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master and swore to him concerning this matter. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From the book of Numbers of Moses, the prophet, may his blessings be over us all. Amen. Then the children of Israel, the whole congregation, came into the wilderness of Zin in the first month, and the people stayed in Kadesh. And Miriam died there and was buried there. Now there was no water for the congregation, so they gathered together against Moses and Aaron. And the people contended, uh, contended with Moses and spoke, saying, If only we had died with, when our brethren died before the Lord. Why have you brought up the congregation of the Lord into the wilderness, that we and our animals should die here? Why have you made us come up out of Egypt to bring us to this evil place? It is not a place of grain or figs or vines or pomegranates, nor is there any water to drink. So Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and they fell on their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the rod, you and your brother Aaron, Gather the assembly together, speak to the rock before their eyes, and it will yield its water. Thus you shall bring water for them out of the rock, and give drink to the congregation and their animals. So Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded them. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock, and he said to them, Here now, you rebels, must we bring water for you out of this rock? Then Moses lifted up his hand and struck the rock twice with his, with his rod. And water came out abundantly, and the congregation and their animals drank. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not believe me to hallow me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore you shall, you shall not bring the congregation into the land which I have given them. This was the water of Meribah, because the children of Israel contended with the Lord, and he was hallowed among them. Glory be to the Holy Trinity of Father. Also from the book of Proverbs of Solomon, the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like Sheol and whole like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our, our houses with spoil. Cast in your lot among us, lest, lest us all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path, for their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of the bird, but they lie in wait for their own blood. They lurk secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses. At the openings of the gate in the city she speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke, surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you, because I have called you, because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no one regarded, because you disdained all my counsel, and would, not, and would have none of my rebuke. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror comes, when your terror comes like a storm, and your destruction your destruction comes like a whirlwind when distress and anguish come upon you then they will call on me but I will not answer they will seek me diligently but they will not find me because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord they would have none of my counsel and despised my every rebuke therefore they shall eat they shall eat their, the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies for the turning away of the simple will slay them and the complacency of fools will destroy them but whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will secure without fear of evil. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Fathers. Also from Isaiah the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save nor, eat, nor his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have spared you from your God. 
and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue has muttered perversely, perversity. No one calls for justice, nor does any plead for truth. They, they trust in the, t in the empty words and speak lies. They conceive evil and bring forth iniquity. They hatch vipers' eggs and weave the spider's webs. He who eats their eggs dies, and from that is crushed a, vipers break, a viper breaks out. Their webs will become will not become garments, nor nor will they cover themselves with their with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they have not known, and there is no justice in their ways. They have made themselves crooked paths. Whoever takes that way shall not know peace. Therefore, justice is far from us, nor does righteousness overtake us. We look for light, but there is darkness. For brightness, but, for brightness, but we walk in blackness. We grope for the war like the blind, and we grope as if we have no eyes. We stumble at noonday as at twilight. We are as dead men in desolate places. We all growl like bears and moan sadly like doves. We look for justice, but there is none for, salva for salvation. But it is sadly, but it is far from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before you, and our sin testifies against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. In transgressing and lying against the Lord, and departing from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from their hearts words of falsehood, Justice is turned back, and righteousness stands afar off. For truth is fallen in the streets, and iniquity cannot enter. So truth fails, and he who departs from evil makes himself a prey. Then the Lord saw it, and it pleased, and it displeased him that there was no justice. He saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his own arm brought salvation for him. And his own righteousness is sustained, it sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and as a helmet of salvation on his head. He put on the garment of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Glory be to the Holy Trinity of the Father. From Zechariah the prophet, may his blessings be over us all. Amen. Thus the poor of the flock who were watching me knew that it was the word of the Lord. Then I said to them, If it is agreeable to you, give me my wages, and if not, refrain. So they weighed out for my wages thirty pieces of silver. And the Lord said to me, Throw it, in, um, <coughs> throw it to the potter, that princely price they set on me. So I took the thirty pieces of silver and threw them into the house of the Lord for the potter. Then I cut in two my other staff, bonds that I break, the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit. Humbly of our Father, saying, Shnuda the Archman, right, may his blessing be us all. Amen. There are two things that I will tell you. All those for whom the heavens rejoiced before they repented while they were still on earth will never have any sorrow or trouble in this place. Those for whom the heavens did not rejoice over because they did not repent while they were on earth will never have any joy or comfort in this place. Therefore, till when are you going to remain to be lazy? I plead with you to lament over yourself as long as these lamentations will be accepted. If you have committed something that deserves lamenting, you have to lament in your, on your own. And all the saints will lament with you for your salvation. Blessed is he who laments over himself. 
here on their own, for they will be rescued from the continuous gnashing of teeth and internal weeping and will rejoice and enjoy a heavenly happiness. Let us wake up, my beloved, before the door is closed and it is too late to repent, when we start pleading in front of the door, only to hear the words, I do not know you. All this and worse will we'll hear if we keep sinning. Let us conclude the homily of our Holy Father, Saint Abba Shnuda the Archmandrite, who has enlightened our minds and our eyes of our hearts in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. The doxology of the ninth hour of Wednesday of the Holy Basra. May his blessings be us all. Amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever. Creelei sunt toc tetigom nen bio nen besmon nen bia mai shine amin emmanuel ben noti ben oro toc tetigom nen bio nen besmon nen bia mai shine amin beshoi si sos pie christos besotir en agathos toc tetigom Nen bio, nen besmo, nen bia mai shine amin. Tok teti gom, nen bio, nen besmo, nen bia mai shine amin. Emmanu el pen noti pen oro. Tok teti gom, nen bio, nen besmo, nen bia mai shine amin. Beshoi si sos pe Christos. Besotir na sosok tetigo nembio nembesmo nembia mai shine amin. Sok tetigo nembio nembesmo nembia mai shine amin. Emmanuel ben noti ben oro sok tetigo nembio nembesmo nembia mai shine amin. Ben oro, thok 
tetigo, nen bio, nen pesmo, nen bia mai shai, ne min besho isi sos pia Christos, besho tire na gathos tok tetigo, nen bio, nen pesmo, nen bia mai shai, ne min tok tetigo, nen bio. Worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for it.
wants to see me. He speaks vain words, la, ah, 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 David, the prophet and king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. My enemies speak evil of me. When will he die and his name perish? And if he comes to see me, he speaks vain words. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. Alleluia, Lord have pity and mercy on us. And make us worthy to listen to your Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel, according to Saint Matthew, the evangelist and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. chief priests, the scribes, and the elders of the people 
assembled at the palace of the high priest, who was called Caiaphas, and plotted to take Jesus by trickery and kill him. But they said not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. And when Jesus was in Bethany, at the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him having an alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when his disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this fragrant oil might have been sold for much and given to the poor. But when Jesus was aware of it, he said to them, why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a good work for me. For the poor you have with you always. But me you do not have always. For in pouring the fragrant oil on my body, she did it for my burial. I sh assuredly I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? And they counted out to him thirty pieces of silver. So from that time, he sought an opportunity to betray him. Glory be to God Prophecies of the 11th hour from Wednesday, Job Wednesday of the Holy Pascha, means Holy Blessing be with us all. Amen. From Isaiah the prophet, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily. Also, I will make justice the measuring line, a righteousness the, the plummet. The hail will sweep away the refuge of lies. The waters will overflow the hiding place. Your covenant with death will be annulled and your agreement with Sheol will not stand when the overflowing scourge passes through. Then you will be trampled down by it. As often as it goes out will it take you, for morning by morning it will pass over, and by day and by night. It will be a terror to, your, to understand the report, for the bed is too short to stretch out on, and the covering so narrow that one cannot wrap himself in it. For the Lord will rise up as, a mount, as, mount, as at Mount Perizim, he will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his awesome work, and bring to pass his act, his unusual act. Now therefore do not be mockers, lest your bonds be made strong. For I have heard, for I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a destruction determined even upon the whole earth. Give ear, in my give ear and hear my voice. Listen and hear my speech. Does the plowman keep plowing all day to sow? 
Does he keep turning his soil and breaking the clods? When he has leveled his when he has leveled its surface, does he not sow the black common and scatter the common? Plant the wheat in rows, the the barley in the appointed place, and the spell in its place. For he instructs him in right judgment. His God teaches him, for the black common is not threshed with the threshing sledge, nor is the cart wheel rolled over the common. But the black common is beaten out with a stick, and the common out with a rod. Bread flour must be ground, therefore he does not thresh it forever, break it with his cart wheel, or thrash it with his horsemen. This also comes from the Lord of hosts, who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in guidance. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The ninth hour commentary of Wednesday of the Holy Basque may its blessings with us all. A homily of our Father, Saint Schnorda, Ambassawirus, Saint Severus, may his blessings with us all. Amen. My brethren, I shall now remind you for the sake of the voice which will on the sinners and those who do not believe in the law and the commandments of life. For he said, Go away from me, you cursed people of the eternal fire. What comfort then awaits these people in their second time? Here is the valley of weeping where there is tears. These are the tears that after which there will be no comfort from him that is able to ask the sinners on that day. For the angels, the cherubim, the seraphim shall be silent. And all the righteous and saints will not be able to plead for humanity on that day. The whole creation will stand in silence and the whole world will be under the just divine judgment. This is the time of harvesting. This is the time of drawing the net to the shore when the good fish will be separated from the bad. This is the day in which it will be said to the sinners, go to Sheol, your abiding place forever. Let us conclude the homily of our father, Saint Severus, who has enlightened our minds and the eyes of our hearts. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Choice 99, choice 99, the praise of the 11th hour of Job Wednesday, the Holy Pascha, may its holy blessing be with us all. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. O Teti Gom Nenbi O Nenbis Mo Nenbi Amai Shai Nemi Nemmenu Il Pennoti Pennoro O Teti Gom Nenbi O Nenbis Mo Nenbi Amai Shai Nemi Nbesho Isi Sos Pichrestos Peso Tirin Agathos O Teti Gom Nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi amai shai ne amin. Tuk te ti go nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi amai shai ne amin. Imano el penoti penoro. Tuk te ti go nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi amai shai ne amin. Ba shoi si sos pe Christos ba so ti na. Be all and be one and be a mind shy. Amen. 
tati gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne menu il benuti benuro tho tati gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne si so spi a Christos beso tiren a Christos tho tati gom Nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Sok te ti go nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Emmanu el ben no ti ben oro Sok te ti go nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Ba sho i si sos be Christos Ba so ti re na Teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne menu il ben no ti ben oro thok teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne ba sho i si so spi a Christos ba so ti re na gathos thok teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen Shine in me Talk to the gong Nem be on Nem be on Nem be on my shine in me Nem be on 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 Teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne menu il ben no ti ben oro tho teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne be sho i si so spi a Christos Ba so ti re na gathos tho teti gom Nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Tok te ti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Emmanu el ben no ti ben oro Tok te ti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Ba sho i si sos be Christos Ba so ti re na gathos Teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne menu il ben no ti ben oro tho Teti gom nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne mi ne be sho i si so spi a Christos be so ti re na gathos tho Teti gom Nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Thok te ti go nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Emmanu el ben no ti ben oro Thok te ti go nen bi o nen bes mo nen bi a ma i sha i ne amin Be sho i si so spi a Christos Be so ti re Oh.
to pray thankfully our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for us. Salmo Stoda Avid Lord, hear me Uh... 
tenot Hide your face from from your servant for I am in trouble he me speedily Alleluia O Lord have pity and mercy on us and make us worthy to listen to your holy gospel a chapter from the whole Gospel according to Saint John, the evangelist and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice 
Christ came from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Therefore the people who stood by and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come because of me, but for your sake now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all peoples to myself. This he said, signifying by what death he would die. The people answered here, We have heard from the Lord that the Christ remains forever. And how can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Then Jesus said to them, A little while longer the light is with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of light. Glory be to God forever. first hour of Job Wednesday of the Holy Bas Hamid's holy blessing be with us all. Amen. The Pharisees gathered and told one another, What are we going to do now? This man performed near miracles. If leave him, the Romans will take over. Caiaphas, the chief priest of the Jews, said, It is better if one man dies on behalf of the nation. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a village and stayed there. The time of the Passover feast was near. At that time, the, the, the Pharisees decided to kill Jesus. This was to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah, which meant that everyone knows his owner, even the animals. But Israel did not realize that Jesus is their creator. That is why they will be punished eternally in hate. Christ our Savior came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his sufferings. Let us glorify and exalt his name, for he has done us mercy according to his great mercy. The commentary of the third hour of Wednesday of the Holy Bas Hamid's holy blessing be with us all. Amen. At a feast of the unleavened bread, which is the Passover of the Jews, the scribes and the chief priests wanted to arrest Jesus, and they did not know him, because they feared the multitude. But Satan had a place in Judas Iscariot, 
who was one of the twelve, who betrayed Jesus and delivered to the chief priest. They were very happy and paid him thirty pieces of silver. Came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his sufferings. Let us glorify and exalt his name, for he has done us mercy according to his great mercy. The commentary of the sixth hour of Wednesday of the Holy Bascha, may its blessings of Saul Amin. Jesus came to Bethany six days before the Passover feast, where Mary and Martha and their brother Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead, made him a big feast. While Martha was serving, Mary poured a precious perfume and anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. Judas became very angry and said with wickedness and hypocrisy that they could have sold this fragrance for, th fragrance for 300 denarii and gave it to the poor. He said that not because he loved the poor, but because he stole from the treasury. Jesus said not to bother her because she had done a good deed, referring to his burial and that the poor people are with them all the time, but his presence in the flesh will not last. Christ that our Saviour came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his sufferings. Let us glorify and exalt his name, for he has done us mercy according to his great mercy. The commentary of the ninth hour of Wednesday of the Holy Bascha, may its blessings of all Amin. The secret of your incarnation you have hidden within our flesh, O Christ, our God, who proceeded from the great father of Abraham, the nation of all nations. The, the, of all a nation. Then Abraham realized the faith that the world must be take, must take flesh through his offspring, especially when he saw that he had a little time on earth and God had blessed his works. He sent for his oldest in his house, who was faithful, and said to him, Put your hands upon my thigh, so that you may swear in the name of the heavenly God that you shall not take a wife for my son Isaac, from this land of the Canaanites, but rather go into my country and to, and to my kindred, take a wife for my son Isaac. The servant said to him, Perhaps the woman will not be willing to follow me to this land. May I take your son back to the land from which you came? But Abraham said to him, Beware that you do not take my son back there. And if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be released from this oath. Only do not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master and swore to him concerning this matter. In the end, God fulfilled this promise which he had made to Abraham, and Christ, and Christ appeared from his kin by which all the nations were blessed. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us that he may save us through his sufferings. Let us glorify and exalt his name, for he has done us mercy according to his great mercy. The commentary of the eleventh hour of Wednesday of the Holy Bascha, may its blessings of Saul Amin. God, who has control over life and death, who was incarnated and became man, his human nature was weak and suffered to the extent that he prayed and asked if he could be saved from this coming hour. But he knew that for this he came to save Adam and his children and to restore them to their heavenly status according to according to his mercy. Let us pray fervently that he that he will make us partners in his glory and confirm us to the faith of his holy name. Christ our Saviour came and suffered for us, that he may save us through his sufferings. Let us glorify and exalt his name, for he has done us mercy according to his great mercy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. <coughs> when is the day of the Holy Pascha? As you noticed, mainly showing us two big extremes. Showing us a disciple to the Lord who is betraying him and preparing for this betrayal. And on the other hand, a woman brings very costly fragrant oil and pour it onto the Lord. 
it's a huge difference between these two. And one of the things which can make us really think a lot, the one who is betraying is a disciple to the Lord. He was counted as one of the 12. He was with the Lord in many occasions, on most of the occasions. And he saw his glory in many miracles. So why, why this? Why this big fall in the life of Judas Iscariot? Really, there is a very nice verse. The beginning of the readings of today, the prophecies of the first hour, was from Exodus 17, verse 7, when was this question, is the Lord among us or not? Is the Lord among us or not? Do I feel that this is the Lord? This is my Savior. This is the one who loved me, and because of his love, he came from heaven and died on my behalf and gave me eternal life. And my eternal life is only in him. It's in him only, not anywhere else or with anyone else. If I have this faith, the value of the Lord in my mind, in my life, will be like Mary, the sister of Lazarus. But if I am there just because I used to be there as Judas Iscariot, and I let evil to grow in my heart day after day, and I let sins to come inside my heart and grow day after day as what was happening with Judas Iscariot. I might be in a great danger as what happened with Judas. What happened with Judas is a very big alarm for every one of us who always in the church, who are serving the Lord, but we have to be careful because one of the 12 lost his position, lost the chance, the big chance the Lord God gave him to be one of the 12. Why? Because of his heart, which was filled day after day with ignorance, with following his, his ego, his, his bad thoughts. So that question, is the Lord among us or not? You can find it clearly in many places of the Bible. Just I will give you two examples from the Old Testament. You remember Joseph. Joseph in the book of Exodus, the very beginning, after all what happened to him and being rejected by his brothers and being brought to Egypt, as a slave, and he was in the house of Potiphar, and the lady of the house, she wanted him to commit sin with her. But Joseph, Joseph answer was always, how can I do this sin in the sight of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord? Joseph, do you still able to see God's presence? Don't you feel upset from what happened to you in the previous years or in the previous month till this moment? Joseph will answer and say, of course not. Of course not. I am sure what happened with me going to be turned to, to be good I don't know how, but I am sure that's what will happen. So Joseph never lost this fact that I am in God's hands. God the Almighty 
cares about my life. I am always enjoying being in the presence of the Lord. Yes, one day in the past I was crying for my brothers to save me, but none of them heard my voice or care about my voice. But I am still have my trust in the Lord. And this lady kept following Joseph more than once. Till that moment when he left his garment and he escaped. <laughs> Joseph, don't you think of, of the consequence of what you're doing now? He will, he will say, no, I don't care. I care about I am in the presence of the Lord. This is my aim. That's my faith. I want to be always in the presence of the Lord. And you all know the result. He was in jail. Don't you feel upset now, Joseph? He would say, no, never. I am here because I am a son to the Lord and I, I respect his presence because I feel his presence. So Joseph used to feel the presence of God. And of course, later on in the life of Joseph, in chapter 50 in the book of Exodus, after Joseph became the greatest man in Egypt and, and Jacob and his brothers came to, to Egypt, and after the death of Jacob, the brothers of Joseph said, oh, okay, now it's his chance. It's his, maybe he was respecting the presence of our father. Now he gonna punish all of us. So they came to him and they all were, ah, oh, you're gonna look, Joseph, we are very sorry, but really, yes, we know we've done evil to you. But, and Joseph straight away said to them, do not talk about it. You meant be evil, but God, God made it for the good for me and for you and for everyone. This is the great Joseph who was in the Old Testament even before the commandment was written. Why is that? Because of his pure heart. Because he was able always to see and feel the presence of God. I am in the presence of the Lord. I do not care about anything else. And I, I don't want anything or anyone to prevent me from being in this presence. The second personality, Elijah the great prophet. Elijah also used to say, he had this sentence, used to say it always. He used to say, as the Lord of hosts lives, before whom I stand, then he says anything else to Ahab or anyone else after that. But this is his sentence. As the Lord of hosts lives, before whom I stand, Elijah, do you feel it? Yes, of course, I do feel it. I am always standing in the presence of the Lord. I am standing in his presence. This is really the message we all, we all want to think about it today. Do I feel that I am in the presence of the Lord? Always or not? When I am in the church, do I feel that I am in the presence of the Lord? Am I able to see him always when the curtain of the altar is opened and the liturgy is on and the body of the Lord and his body and his blood is on the altar and he's saying, take, eat, this is my body, take, drink, this is my blood. Do I see him there and I feel really his presence or I'm just coming because I used to come, I have to be there. Really, my beloved, this day is a good chance for all of us to think about it and to examine our hearts. Every time, Lord, when I am coming to the church, please, I want to see you only. You are the only one I want to see. Don't let me be or forget your presence because I have many things, many other things to do. If I am coming to the canteen or to do urban or to do whatever, 
It's, it's very important for me to see your presence and enjoy your presence. And same when I am in my room, when I am opening the Bible. Do I feel his presence? Do I feel, do I feel that I am really in the presence of the Lord? So when I am in the church, when I am in my room, when I am driving, when I am at my work or uni or studying or with people or by myself, Lord, I really want to see you. I want to say, as Elijah was saying, as the Lord of hosts lives before whom I stand. I am sure when we have that kind of faith and that kind of presence, many things in our life will change. Before I do things or before I say things, I would ask myself, is it going to suit the presence of the Lord or not? Also, when we have confession, when I am coming to sit with the Buna for the confession, do I feel that really I am sitting in the presence of the Lord? And the one who will give me the absolution is Christ himself. Because through his blood, our sins are forgiven. So when I feel that I am sitting in front of the Lord who was crucified because of my ignorance, because of my sins, my heart will break, break. My heart will be full of Full of, the, full of the fear of God. So I will repent with tears. Not just I'm coming just because it's my monthly routine on something. No, I am coming to be in front of the cross, under the feet of the Lord and seeking his forgiveness. So the main message for today is to remember that is the Lord among us or not in everything we do in the church or outside the church. Very quickly, the Gospels of today, Wednesday of the Pascha, on the 11th hour, on the first hour, I'm sorry, the Gospel was from John 11, when Caiaphas, the high priest, was saying a prophecy about the Lord that he coming to gather all those who scatter to be one. Then on the third hour from Luke 22, talks about the devil who entered into the heart of Judas and he went and made agreement with the high priests to deliver the Lord Jesus to them. In the sixth hour, the gospel was from John 12, and it's talking about Mary, the sister of Lazarus, who brought the, f the fragrant oil and poured on the Lord. And Judas Iscariot was, uh, was looking at this, this as waste. Why is this waste? We could have sold it for three, more than 300 denarii and give it to the poor. But he said that not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. And the Lord mentioned in this gospel that when Mary did this, he did it for my burial. For my burial. In the ninth hour, the high priest and the elders of the Jews talking together among themselves, how can we get rid of Jesus? Then in the same chapter, Matthew 26, talks about the woman who brought the, the fragrant oil in the house of Simon the leper. And the Lord said the same thing, she did this for my burial. So most likely, the event in Matthew 26 and the event in John 12 is the same event. Simon the leper was the oldest in the house of, uh, of Lazarus. Okay? He was the oldest. So when they made the feast for the Lord, it wasn't in the house of Lazarus, it was in the house of Simon the leper, as the oldest in the family, like Kibir uh, al the oldest of the family. So they all were there. Lazarus was there, Mary was there, 
Martha was there as mentioned in, 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 in John 12 as well. Then in the 11th hour, the Lord Jesus was saying very important verses. John 12, and we're going to read together just verse 31 and 32. The Lord said, Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of the world will be cast out. And if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. This he said, signifying by what death he would die. So the Lord is telling us, I just came for this moment. I am coming to die on the cross. Lord, do you know that? Of course, yes, the Lord knows. And the Lord is, is accepting this and he came for this hour. So all the readings of today is making us always to, to think about this. Am I going to follow the way of Mary or the way of Judas? The Lord came to gather all those who were scattered to be one in him. How? By his cross. By his cross. So we all at the church during the Passion Week gather to, to praise the Lord who accepted death on the cross by praising him saying, to you is the power, the glory, the honor forever. Amen. Why are we saying that? Because we know that, yes, the Lord is among us. We are coming in the Holy Pascha week to praise the crucified Lord who accepted death to give us life and to gather us all to be one in him. May the Lord bless us all. So really we can have that faith that the Lord is always among us. During the Pascha, during every liturgy, during every praise, during uh, when we are in our rooms, when we are by ourselves, when we are with people, when we are practicing any sacrament of the church. So really we enjoy being in the presence of the Lord, which is full of fear and which lead us into the way of our salvation. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Be Christus be Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, 
Hear us, sustain us, and continuously accept the prayers and supplications of his saints on our behalf for our good always and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask for the peace of the one holy universal apostolic church and the salvation of God in the congregation and for the safety for of every place and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask for our fathers and brethren who are sick of any type of sickness here and in all other places so that our Lord would cure them and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask and pray for our fathers and brethren who are traveling and those anywhere who intend to travel, that God may guide their ways, whether by sea, river, lake, or those traveling by any means that Christ our Lord may bring them back to their homes in safety and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Ask and pray for the rains, the air of the heaven, and the fruit of the earth and all the trees and vineyards also that every fruitful tree be blessed and grows in safety and forgive us our sins Lord, have mercy. ask and pray that god may give us mercy and sympathy in the hearts of the rulers presidents and kings at all times and forgive us our sins Lord, have mercy. ask and pray for our fathers and our brethren who have slipped and rested in the faith of christ from the beginning our holy fathers the archbishops our father the bishops our fathers the priests our our brethren the deacons our father the monks and our brethren the laymen and for the repose of all the Christians, that Christ our Lord may rest all their souls in the paradise of delight, and, for, and we too, that he may have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask and pray for the catechumens that the Lord God may bless them. Let us pray that God ask, let us pray and ask for those who attend the offerings and oblations, the wine, the oil, the incense, the coverings of the altar, the books of prayers, the vessels of the altar, the Christ our God may reward them with the heavenly Jerusalem and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us pray and ask for the catechumens, the Lord our God may bless them, enlighten their hearts, confirm the orthodox faith until the end, and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us pray and ask for this holy church and all the orthodox churches, the deserts, the monasteries, the elders, the dwelling therein, and for the peace of the whole world, that the Lord may protect us from all evil and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray and ask for the life of the venerable father, Patriarch Pope Abba II, and also in his partner, Apostolic Misha, Bishop Amber Daniel, that the Lord God may keep them for us and confirm them in their face and see for him in his peaceful times and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray and ask for our Orthodox Fathers and Metropolitans, the Bishops in every place, and the Proto-Priests, the Priests, the Deacons, and all the Orders of the Church, that Christ our Lord may keep them, strengthen them, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask and pray for this gathering and all the Orthodox gatherings, that the Lord God may bless them and fulfill them and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask and pray for all the hierarchs of the Holy Church and all the church orders that clear us that Lord our God may bless them and support them and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us ask and pray for those who labor and toil in the Holy Church with the Orthodox people that the Lord God may have mercy on them and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us pray and ask for all the Christ loving rulers, the kings, who asks us to remember them in our prayers, that the Lord God may bless them and remember them in his mercy and grant them favor before the powerful rulers and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask and pray that the Lord our God 
may be with the poor, the weak, the farmers and all those who are in adversities of any kind, that our Lord may be merciful with them and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us ask and pray for those who are in distress in prisons and or dungeons, in captivity or exile, and those who are afflicted by any devils, that the Lord our God may loosen them from their burdens and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us pray and ask for the souls and assemble this day in this place seeking forgiveness for their souls that the Lord's kindness may encompass us and them and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us ask and pray for those who ask us to remember them in our prayers that the Lord our God may remember them according to his goodness at all times and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us ask and pray for the rising waters of the rivers this year in Egypt, Sudan and all over the world that Christ our Lord may bless them and raise them according to their measure. Give joy to the face of the earth, support us, save humanity, save all the animals and lift from the world, death, famine, epidemics, pestilence, captivity and the sword of the enemy and grant us peace and tranquility for the Orthodox Church and raise the state of the Orthodox Christians in the whole world and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Let us ask and pray for this holy week of Pascha for our Saviour that he may complete it for us in peace and bring us joy with holy resurrection and safety and forgive us our sins. Lord have If not in a nante shoy nai erun, ari hoy nai nimen, chintek mit oro. Son, 
May Jesus Christ, our true God, through his own goodwill, accepted the sufferings and was crucified on the cross for our sakes. Bless us with all spiritual blessings and support us and complete for us this holy week of Pascha. Bring forth upon us the joy of his holy resurrection, many years and peaceful times, through the never-ending intercessions of the Immaculate, the Holy Virgin, St. Mary, the Thought of Cause, all the choirs of angels, archangels, the prayers and patriarchs, the prophets, apostles, the martyrs, the righteous and holy ones, the cross-bearers, the ascetics, the confessors, the anchorites, the blessings of this holy week, of Bascha, of our good Saviour, the holy blessings, benedictions, their power, their gift, their love, and their help be with us all. Amen. Christus benoti. Amen. O King of Peace, grant us your true peace. Forgive us our sins. You have the power, glory, honor forever. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil through Jesus Christ our Lord for thine is the kingdom and the power now the love of God the Father the grace of his only begotten Son our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ the fellowship and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all go in peace the peace of the Lord be with you all